at Welder Training and Testing, we prep coupons, as you can see behind you, both pipe and plate, in carbon steels. So corrosion is a problem, and this seems to be the easiest way we've found to prevent it, both in storage and in shipping. As far as the ease of use, is which, which is what we're primarily concerned with as a supplier of a product coated in blockside, what are the other features that make this product superior to anything else out there? Well, uh, let me tell you this. First of all, this is an aluminum-based rust preventive weldable primer, which means it will prevent rust when applied on a clean joint. Then it's a weldable, so you can, and aluminum being a very good conductor of electricity, you'll be able to strike a welding arc directly on the coating, so you do not require secondary cleaning once you bring it up in the welding shop. The third is, you can actually weld on the coating without generating the hazardous fumes and any bad odor, which is generated normally by welding on other rust preventive products which are zinc based. And the main important feature, uh, feature of this product is, since it's aluminum based, and as you know very well that when aluminum goes into the weld metal, it acts as a scavenger because it has more affinity for oxides and oxygen. And, and it will combine with oxygen and oxides and come into the slag and thus creating an X-ray quality weld. And also while welding on top of it, it would not leave any inclusion or create any porosity in the weld. So that way you will get X-ray quality weld. So these are the main features of this product. In your experience, Dennis, when people weld without cleaning the joint, what happens to the joint? Pre-cleaning pre methods are always a big factor in the quality and soundness of your weld after it's been done. Your base material is gonna be your biggest point of contamination if there's oxidation or corrosion on that joint. In most cases where an X-ray quality weld is being looked for, porosity is automatically going to fail a joint and it's going to require repair. So basically, uh, blockside preventing oxidation and then act, the aluminum acting as scavenger does help the welder to create an extra quality weld. Blockside is meant for carbon steels, mild, low carbon steels. We have plate coupons as well as pipe coupons, and we have a few different ways of applying them. The simplest way, the most direct, is going to be brushing it on. We can brush it right onto plate coupons. A gallon of blockside is going to cover about 800 square feet and it's gonna go on, once it's applied, about one mil thick. So it goes quite a long way, and it's a very cost-effective way to prevent rust on materials that need to be welded. The dry time is gonna be around six to eight hours, depending on your ambient temperature. So we'll prep the coupons in advance, coat them with the block side. Once it dries, it ends up being about a mil thick. We prep coupons for training as well as testing. These are pipe coupons where the machine beveled edges are where we're most concerned about rust and corrosion. We've come up with a way to use the least amount of material to get the most effective result. We basically have a sponge soaked in it that we just press the coupon into and pull it right back out. And you get an even coating along there. And we can do both sides and then set it and let it dry. In larger applications, here we can actually brush it on again the brushing application works well for buying in bulk gallon cans, five gallon cans, one quart, or they have 55 gallon drums available as well. The aerosol application is quick and it covers a large area. This works real well for when you're shipping parts and you're worried about corrosion and shipment if it's not in a watertight container or can be exposed to atmosphere. And it's gonna coat it about the same just different delivery method. For applying blockside to a larger area, such as on a large plate that's been corroded and then sandblasted clean, in preparation for welding or in preparation for storage, a sprayer can be used as well, whether it's air powered or electric like this one is, it's gonna cover a larger area much faster. We're gonna run a bead both on the regular steel right. and then on the coated steel as well to show that there's no noticeable difference in the arc characteristics or the cleanliness of the weld.
what is the reason it would save time and cost? It's, it's a cost-effective method in that once it's stored on the shelf, we can pull it off and ship the product with confidence that it's not corroded. We don't have to recheck everything, re-clean anything, or re-machine any surfaces once this coating is on there. For an ordinary customer to purchase this product, what's the easiest way to get it? Uh, well, basically it would be available with your nearest welding product distributor. However, they can also contact Temple at temple.com. <laughs>